In this video, I want to talk a little bit about what the simplest way to get scan data inside of our tech cloud. So I've got Art here uh, on the call with me and we've got a scan file that we just did a, a really good overview video on all the things that we can do inside of our tech cloud uh, with. And this particular scan was scanned with the Leo and directly uploaded from the Leo to the cloud. So we didn't go to any computer. We just uploaded directly off the Leo via a Wi-Fi connection and got the scan data into the cloud. So what I want to talk about is specifically using autopilot in a really quick and simple workflow to have uh, as minimal steps as possible into producing a scan file like this. Uh, so what you see here was done inside of autopilot and Art, I'm going to have you walk through the process of what it took for you to get here so we can understand exactly what you need to do to go from start to finish getting a model like this. Sure. So I'll go ahead and hide this fusion. If you upload a scan from the Leo to the cloud with Wi Fi or an internet connection, um, this is what a, the data will look like. So when you first pull it in, the standard data shows up like this, and you've got HD data that is raw that's also imported that you can run a reconstruction on and do the same things uh, that you do to the standard data. So we can also run an autopilot on HD data. Uh, for now, I'll just work with the standard data. So on the top left, I can switch from my manual mode to autopilot. Autopilot asks us which scans would we like to use. So I've got the two that I want to use marked. I'll hit start and answer a few questions for the autopilot. So the first questions are, do we have good captured geometry, texture, um, and for this fire hydrant, yes, it's got a lot of geometry. It's got rich texture and the object size is about a medium size. And it doesn't really have any hard to scan surfaces, which would be things that are like black, shiny, or clear. And in the advanced tab, you can see that we can also further choose to fill our holes completely or by radius. So in this one, I'm going to do about 30 millimeters. We can also set a model resolution. I'll leave this at auto. And then we can choose a polygon count for the final model. So if I really want to decimate it down to a million polygons, I can do that. And then for my texture size, if I want a lighter file, I may choose a slightly smaller texture map. And then I can hit next. So for the first step, before we run all of, all of those tools automatically, um, it's asking us if we want to use the eraser tool. And there's a little bit of this uh, ground I think I want to erase. So I don't need the entire sidewalk. So on the bottom, you see these erasing uh, options. We have a 2D brush and cutoff plane, just like in Artex Studio 16. But I'll use the lasso tool here. So that is very quick and easy to make these adjustments. And I'll go to the next step, which is alignment. Leo scan data normally comes in with all the scans already aligned. Um, and so we can either run an auto alignment or for this particular scan, everything's already snapped together. Um, it has not had global registration done to it, but it's close enough in alignment that we can just go ahead and skip this step. So. It only takes a couple of minutes to set up processing this data. And now you can walk away, close this window, close your laptop, and you're not using any processing power. You are not using any of your memory and just the service that Artec provides with Artec Cloud. Yeah, so that's a pretty efficient workflow right there. And just to kind of show as an example what it looks like. So we've, we've gone through the autopilot. Now, if we come back to this an hour later, what's it going to look like and what's the process for export? 
Uh, that's a good question, Paul. This is what it would look like. So once you come back in after your model has been created with autopilot, you've got a nice textured model here. You can inspect it. You can turn on and off the lighting. You can adjust the texture if you would like. And of course, you would have your export options. You can not only export the entire project with this fusion, you can export just individual scans, which you can choose here. And then you can actually get the textured model out as an OBJ, um, of course, STL as well, PLY, VRML. Perfect. Yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty quick and simple workflow. And one of the, the real key things with this is we're not relying on any processing power in this entire uh, start to finish, right? So this could be done on an iPad. This could be done on just a very basic computer. And it doesn't even have to be the same computer you started on, right? So if we upload this data to the cloud, go ahead and queue up this autopilot. Uh, we can come back to it an hour later from a completely different location uh, and a completely different computer and pull this data down, which makes it really beneficial from a collaboration standpoint. Yep, and we encourage everybody to try this. There is a free trial available on our Tech Clouds website. You can register with an email address and start it today. Thank you very much for taking a look at this video and we'll have more coming out on our Tech Cloud shortly.